The BC government just announced a condo flipping registration that will take into effect January 1st, 2019. Stay tuned as I'll discuss all the details. Hi, this is Alex Lam from Royal Pacific Realty in Vancouver, and this is Canadian Content, eh? If you're new here, hello and welcome. I talk about everything real estate in the Vancouver area with new videos every Tuesday and Friday. Hit that subscribe button, that little bell, because being a smart, savvy consumer is a good idea. A. When I attend pre-sale purchasing events across Metro Vancouver, a large majority of the people that are there are real estate investors. With pre-sales, these investors would most likely flip these properties for a small profit. After all, the only investment the investor had to make was to come up with a deposit payment. In the past, most buyers of pre-sale, assigners, who had the intention of flipping their property, may have done so without reporting the capital gains to CRA. Also, the buyers of the pre-sale assignments, assignees, may have reported the property value incorrectly when it came to completion. Some assignees may have reported the original purchase price, not the assignment purchase price, to the land title office, thus avoiding the payment of the extra property transfer tax and GST. With the implementation of this new condo flipping registration, this will force the assigner to report the correct capital gains amount and the assignee to report the correct purchase price. The developer will also be forced to collect information for the registry. For individuals, the developer will collect the following, the full legal name, the date of birth, the citizenship information, the residency status of the individual, the social insurance number, the address of the individual, the principal residence of the individual, the phone number, and email address if applicable. For corporations, if the proposed party of the assignment is a corporation, the legal corporation name, the nine digit business number assigned by Canada Revenue Agency, the head office address, information about the individual who can be contacted on behalf to answer questions about the assignment agreement. The information about the individual includes the name, postal address, phone number, email address. Also, the developer must collect the details about the assignment contract, such as the date of the purchase agreement, the unit number, the strata lot number, the PID number, the date of the developer's consent to the assignment agreement, the effective date of the assignment, the assignment fee paid to the developer for the consent, the purchase price of the strata lot, the assignment amount, this is the amount payable to the signer for the assignment and it's commonly referred to as the lift, the reimbursement of the deposit paid. So there you have it. If you're a signer or a signee, you need to know about the condo flipping registration. Question of the day, do you think this registry will reduce the amount of pre-sale flipping? Please leave it in the comments below. I'll try my best to personally answer all the comments myself. If you're thinking about purchasing a pre-sale, I made a video about the pros and cons about investing in a pre-sale. I'll link it up in the description over here. As always, please like, share, and subscribe and become a smart, savvy consumer. I make educational videos every Tuesday and videos every Friday. This is Alex from Vancouver, and thanks so much for watching this video. Eh?